Okay, so everybody, sit comfortably in your chair, put your feet flat on the floor. Put your lips together, put your teeth slightly apart, and bring your shoulders down. <clears throat> Take a nice breath. Ask yourself, is it okay for me to touch my own finger? I just want you to get into the habit. Make a fist, tap your finger, and gently extend your pointer finger. Gently extend your pointer finger. <coughs> and now just focus your thoughts on the sensation and the feeling that you're getting while you're tapping your knuckle. And now imagine that a rod is going into your finger that is going to make it unbendable and strong. And slowly, slowly go down your finger all the way until you get to the tip making sure that that rod is getting stronger, going with you, going all the way stronger, all the way to the tip. When you get to the tip, just gently push on your finger and resist it as strong as you can. Resist, resist, relax. Now tap one, two, three, four, five, relax. Now, this is the way I do the technique with my patients right before I was going to give the injection. <coughs> my dental assistants would push on the finger, they would relax, I would do the injection. It was like a little dance that we had, and it was really unbelievable because fearful people were actually able to complete treatment 100% of the time using my finger focus. That's great. It was so great, and you could use it for a lot of other things. The one thing I do want to say is people think that this is so magical, you have to remind them, and I have a consent form here that you can take home, and I think it's on your um, CD, is that patients should never remove any undiagnosed pain. Like I have a headache, I'm gonna remove my headache. That's possible, but you, can't, you really have to stress that that should not be done. Any pain of unknown origin needs to be diagnosed correctly. And I really, really want to stress this because this technique is so powerful that it can help people remove their pain or do other things. And a lot of people like to do it for pain removal. That's great if you know where the pain is coming from. So make sure there's always a diagnosis first of where the pain is coming from. Now what I want you to do is I want you to match up, become partners, introduce yourself, and then just always before you begin, because it doesn't say it on the sheet, say, is it okay if I touch your finger? In today's day and age, you need to really ask that question before you begin the technique. Is it okay if I touch your finger? <laughs>